Greetings from the Void. My name is Alpha, and welcome back to Angels of Death, Episode 2. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm hyped to actually get into this uh, game, because the last episode was pretty damn good. I actually uh, thoroughly enjoyed that, and uh, I have to remember to turn down my volume in my headphones so I can actually hear myself think. So... <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, I went ahead and clicked episode 2 on that little menu. And, uh, we're here. So, uh, shall we get started? Angels of Death. Episode 2. Let's begin! we got okay so the front cover floor b3 okay oh cutscene this is where we get off apparently Rachel Gardner Ray b3 Isaac Foster Zach What's a stingy elevator just... What a stingy elevator. Just take us all the way up instead of dropping us off at each fucking floor. Here we go again. Another elevator hunt. Yeah. Hey, I'm counting on you. You're the brains of this operation. Make sure we get to the exit. Okay, I'll do everything in my power to make myself useful to you. Just like you swore to God, once we escape this place, kill me. You sound like a broken record player. Don't gotta tell me again. It's locked. Hmm. So, okay, as I was saying, um, the front cover of this episode, when I clicked on it, was some lady with a pink tint in her hair so I can only assume that's going to be this floor's killer <sighs> anyway so wait we're trapped here this is kind of unfair unfair for a game if a game is rigged come on there's no what there's no way a key could be anywhere here we're supposed to wait for the freaking murderer to come to us? Bull! Bull! I call hacks. What? I said what? Unbutton your lips. Even if I told you, I'm not sure you would understand. Who knows, but I won't unless you spit it out. It's not unlocked. There's nothing else in this room, so it doesn't bode well for us. If you don't have a clue, why in the hell would I... I thought you'd say that. Aren't you skilled at unlocking stuff? Good luck with that. For the time being, I'll take another look at the door. I had a feeling it wouldn't open. What are we gonna do? Is there something in my handbag? But... This is... Hey. Hey, it still won't budge? Nope. You've been eyeballing your bag for a while. What's that about? I thought there'd be something to unlock it. No? So what's inside that bag of yours, anyway? Uh, well, my inventory's just a handbag. Um, thread, a needle, and... You don't say. Can you pick a lock with a needle? I have no idea how to pick locks. Besides, this door has no keyhole. Oh. A lot of good some thread and a needle's gonna do for us then, huh? She wasn't finished. 
Out of my way. I'll smash it open. This door is reinforced with iron bars. Can it? I won't know unless I try, damn it. Yeah! Shit, it's hard as a rock. Hard as iron, to be precise. Why didn't you tell me that? Now my hands are all numb. I mentioned iron bars. Huh? What the fuck? Hey, get back! Ooh. Bullets. Planning to turn us into Swiss cheese, eh? Sorry, the welcome party took so long. I guess I sort of dozed off watching your idiotic antics. Still, it's a wonder you survived. Especially you, Zack. Bravo to your resourcefulness. Truth be told, I've always had faith that you'd blossomed into such a lovely sinner. All this talk about anticipation has my sleepy peepers wide awake now. I don't give a flying fuck about your sleeping habits. Shut the hell up and let us through. Very well, you've earned it. Yep, you've earned it. What? I am the Condemner. Oh, godless wretches. You shall rhythm in agony until forgiven. For that is my divorce. What the? F Godless wretches. Bullshit. Saying whatever the hell she wants, talking like God sent her himself, and shit. Why do I gotta be punished anyway? Oh, and my bullshit almometer is already pinging off scale. So lay off. Hey, Ray. The door is open. Let's get a move on. Okay. Alright. Don't know what to make of this, uh, new killer. Um... For, well, for a fact, she has guns. Good to know. Uh, she certainly has a weird, like, style of killing. Um, not to mention... Uh, I think we have an issue. <laughs> Uh, this, because in the last, uh, the last killer, oh boy, I am, I have a feeling that these freaking floors are going to be a repeat of questioning Ray's, uh, Ray's morals here, well, not morals, but, uh, each and every killer is going to question whether Ray really wants Zack, of all people, to murder her over them. Considering that's what the last killer did. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, let's go down here. The door is locked. Good to know. The door is locked. Good to know. The door is locked. Good to know. I don't trust that thing. What is that? The gate is closed. It's closed. Hey, aren't you listening? Weren't you supposed to let us through? What's this? I thought you were slow-witted. But it turns out you're just impatient, eh? I haven't finished putting on my face. I just rolled out of bed, after all. 
Oh no. God dang it, Metaton! Huh? Well, never mind all that. Sinners should receive their punishment in due order, don't you think? I mean, that way it sets the mood for the whole thing, don't you think? I'd better get everything set up. You two should get ready too, to receive your punishment, that is. I left the room in question unlocked for you. Which means... Huh? What's all that supposed to mean? Shall we head to the room for the time being? Okay, this killer is a bit weird. Hmm? A bordered background mugshot is what defines a criminal, right? So, take your mug shots from me. Huh? Mug shot? It's a picture of your mug, Isaac. Never had yours taken before, huh? How lovely. I'll make a half-hearted promise to post it on my fridge. Indeed, the same goes for you as well, Rachel. Show me your photogenic side. Oh, and don't forget to take it while holding a placard. What? Ugh, this is such bullshit. I can kinda agree with Zack. What the hell is your deal with this? What's... what... what's the big idea here? I have a feeling that camera is actually a gun. A box contains whiteboards, each have white string attached, names are written on the boards, they appear to be mugshot place cards, placards. Hey, what do they say? Our names are written on them. Really? Our names? Well, it's for a mugshot, so I think we need to put uh, these around our necks and take the photo. Required placards. Ah, I see, and then we got the chart right there, okay. There's a camera. Are we supposed to take it with this? Does pushing the shutter take a photo? Fuck if I know. I've never taken a photo or had mine taken. Okay, then I should take mine first. Eh. So why the f in the fuck do I gotta get my photo taken for? So we can keep going? Not a fan of photos. Does this face look like I'm a fan of photos? Well, considering your old man- SHUT UP! Shit, fine! Okay then, I'll take yours once uh, you're ready, okay? Uh, wait, do I just... There's a camera. Shall I take yours? Fine. Hey, if you're gonna do it, then make it snappy. Stay still. Huh? Like I give a shit. Just take it for crying out loud. It'll come out blurry. For fuck's sake, it's not like this is some passport photo. Fine, hold still. Do I press this? Yeah. This sucks so hard. What do we gotta do this for? I'm not sure myself, Zach. Right, don't push the button too hard, it'll make the camera shake. It's blurry. Good enough. Yeah, I think I heard a sound over there. Now we should be able to move on. Well, this certainly is an interesting character. Hey, is a name written on that? Yeah, that's right. Which one is it? It's nothing. Two placards with Rand Zach's name written on them. Well, I don't think I need those yet. How about this one? Oh, I'm supposed to go through here now? Mmm. Lovely. A series of drawings are scribbled on the wall. Blah! What a piss poor excuse of a drawing. It's like someone smeared shit on the wall. Here's a picture of someone sitting in a chair. Here's be a picture of some sort of green scribble of an agonizing face. Here's be a picture of someone impaled on spikes. Here's be a picture of a syringe. I guess, and then this person. It appears to be a picture of a smiling woman, which I believe is the killer. At least what I can assume to be. So, 
chair, so electric chair, agony, spikes, syringe. How are these significant? Mm. I can only assume. Welcome. Did you by chance catch the wall artwork? I've got such a wonderful pun- I got such wonderful punishments in store for both of you. Isn't that lovely? But drawing skills like that, the only thing lovely will be when they're erased. How cruel! I put my heart and soul into them. But enough about that. More importantly, I'm giving each of you a bit of a choice. Huh? What do you mean? Did you know that condemnation comes in a variety of forms? How does eternal imprisonment strike you? There you can leisurely spend your days productively thinking over your sins. Such tormenting punishment awaits you above. However, beyond the iron bars awaits you a lovely new life, rotting away in eternal imprisonment. So, what do you say? Who the fuck in their right head would want to do something like that? Too bad! All I wanted was to keep you for the rest of your lives. The offer still stands if you change your mind. What? You think I'm just gonna su just- You think I'm just gonna sign my life over? Like some dumbass? Eternal imprisonment. Death would not be swift take it. Hey, don't even give this bitch time. Don't even give this bitch the time of day. Act like she doesn't exist. Let's keep going. I'm gonna save my game. First save of the day! Okay, so what happens? A path continues beyond the bars. Oh, I don't think I can actually... I don't think I actually have a choice. Okay, I thought I did. Hmm. Let's see what's up here. Is this the first punishment room? Even if it is, we've got no choice but to keep going. Yeah, well, we want to be killed, not frickin' just, like, die of, like, age and starvation or something like that. The door's been locked. Huh? Does everyone around here got some sort of sick door-locking fetish or something? Come on! God damn it, Zach. <laughs> Electric chair. That must be the first drawing. There's so many chairs. What's sitting in the chairs? People? Dolls? And that chair in the center. Ah! Yet another place that makes no freaking sense. Ah. Wait! I know what this is. And doll sitting, so it faces the chair in the center of the room. Yeah, this is your little audience of death right here. How cute. How absolutely cute. Inside. Ooh, I got a rag. I got a rag. I got a rag. Yay. Ray, would you stop fucking around? There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Okay, Zach, do not sit in that chair. So, they're all dolls, huh? So it seems. At any rate, get thinking about how to get through here. Okay. Just to be safe, you should take a look around, too. Will do. Oh, no. Find anything worth mentioning? There's a door on the other side, but that wall's blocking the way. And you didn't smash it because? Huh? Listen, punk. The wall's made of iron, and I can't smash it. Oh. Aren't you the one who said that iron can't be destroyed? I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do, and it's going to scare the shit out of Zack. Zack. Look the other way. There's a chair strapped with cords and a restraining device. Something smells like it's burning. 
God, please don't tell me I actually have to use this thing. That's... Isn't that gonna kill me? <laughs> it appears to be some sort of machine, but it isn't functioning. It appears to be some sort of machine, but it isn't functioning. There's a flat screen above this chair. I have a feeling I need to sit in that chair. But I do have a rag. This rag's filthy. It's not even fit for cleaning. It's quite dirty. I got a dirty rag and placards. It has no use here. I'm not gonna like this. Whoa, wait. This room looks like it might be hiding something, but everything seems to be fixated with no sign of budging. All the dolls appear motionless too. Maybe I'll let Zack know. He's not gonna be happy. He'll get over it though. Zack. Did you find something? Uh. Um, did you even look? Or, um... So no clue about a way out, huh? Yeah, about that. Damn. That's cheap. That's very, very flippin' cheap. Yeah. I have a feeling the only way to progress... If someone needs to be in that chair... Hey, are you sure there's nothing? Not sure, but what I do know is that I've yet to find any kind of clue. Quit messing with me. If there's nothing here, how about I start smashing everything? Wouldn't that be faster? There's no evidence suggesting so. Huh? No evidence? There's no evidence to say I can't smash? Mind holding that thought for a bit. Oh man, I'm pissed. Uh oh! No, Zach, get out of that right now! Pl please! No way forward, no way back. Man, this shit's so fucking tiring. Hey, I wouldn't sit in that chair if I were you. Huh? Put a sock in it. I'm so out of it. Zach! Zach, please! Don't! Zack, I'm actually worried for your health, man. I'd get out of that chair if I were you. What's the big deal? You couldn't find anything around here, right? But that chair. Huh? What about this chair? It's probably for execution. An electric chair. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Ray, don't just stand there! Do something! Okay, hang on a second. Yep. Hi there. Greetings, my apologies. I can't be there in person. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is going to suck. I condemn the guilty on this floor. Don't forget. I'll be the last thing you ever see. B4, B3, Kathy. Well, my sinful duo, are you enjoying yourselves? Oh, goodness. Shut, Minaton! Zack, sat in that chair? Eh? Shit. Hey, you bitch! Get me out of this thing! Surely you jest. I'm afraid that just won't happen. What kind of executioner sets their convicts free? Zack, my boy. I get giddy at the thought of seeing how well a monster like you can withstand my punishment. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, Zack! Why, Zack? What could be the matter? It hurts, you bitch! 
Incredible! Your life force is so strong! I want a wonderful murdering monster! Oh, you're the perfect specimen of a sinner. Shut the fuck up! Get this thing off me so I can wipe that fucked up smile off your face! Rawr! Well, I'll leave the electric chair on so lots of lovely bolts continue to course through your body. In the meantime, Rachel Gardner can find a way to deactivate it. If you're lucky, then who knows, I might even let you both through here. Stop it. You won't survive. Oh, well, hello, my child. Does it not captivate you to learn, uh, how much of a tenacious monster of a sinner that Zack is? Besides, do you think a sinner has any say in this? Well then... Let the punishment begin. Ladies and gentlemen! Fuck. Relish in the despicable sinner's writhing in agony. Uh... Hey! Ray! You know what you gotta do, right? I actually don't! Mmm. <laughs> okay. Um, well I can't get to Zack because the door is closed. So what I need to do is stop the electricity is either cut a cable... There's nothing in these rooms, though. Maybe it's one of the frickin' people in the chair. You gotta do this, or you won't be... Ugh, holding up... Oh, God. Ah! You gotta do this, or you won't be holding up your end of the bargain. Don't screw up. Prove your usefulness to me. But let me murder this sadistic crazy bitch! Oh, crap. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna save in slot two. God damn it, what is it gonna make me do? Okay, I'll do what I can. The loathing gaze of the audience upon the sinner. That gaze is a virtue of the sinner's demise. Here, the eyes of the spectators exact the punishment. In that case, it's one of those dolls. All right, now let the fun begin. Eyes of spectators. Does that mean one of the doll the dolls are spectators? Hmm, what to do? Center of the room. There's dolls sitting in the center of the room. Dolls sitting in the center of the room. Sitting without staring appears as a tang in its head. There's dolls in the moon, plus a tang in its head. Does it not want the face port? Turn it backwards. Ah! Plus its head slumped. Turn it backwards. Ah, hurry up! I will! Is the current weakening? I'll check it out. Uh, uh, what do you want me to do? The current is weakened. Zach, how is it? How's what? Still got a ways to go. Maybe I need, you, need to have more dolls look away. Uh, it's unmovable. Turn head backwards. I'll do my best. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Zack, I'm saving your ass. Ah. Uh. Oh, hot. Hang in there. I knew it. The electric current is weakening. But how do I make the rest of the dolls look away from the electric chair? If I can just get the dolls' heads to move. Come think it. Doesn't Zack have a scythe? Zack! I need your scythe! Is it any better, Zack? Ah, ah. Are you fucking with me? Hey, can you throw your scythe up to me? Ah! Throw it here. I need it for something. Damn you! There! Now do something! You know very well what happens if I die. D don't ya? I can't reach it. I can't move! The rest is up to you! If you die, then it's hopeless for me. I can't let that happen. Zack Cycle is on the other side of the iron bars. It's hot. I can't touch it directly. Um. 
No use. Uh. God damn it. I grab with the rag. I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you! Acquired Zack's sight. Ah, oh, this is Haley. Probably won't make, make clean flashes. I'll do what I can. Kill who? Shut up! Don't answer me! Don't even save me! Cut off head. Damn, this thing's heavy. I'm gonna cut every Sam single one of them. I don't want Zack to die. Crazy. Ah! Stay with me, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am desperate. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't even know if I have time to read any of this. I'm like skipping through text because I'm desperate because I think I've wasted so much time. Please! Shit! You can be as loud as you want. Talk to me if you're still alive. Man, you're selfish! Don't you know I'm dying over here? Glad to know you're okay. It stopped. Holy shit! <laughs> Zack okay? Can I drop this scythe? It's very heavy. Iron bars are unlocked. Zack, you okay? Zack? Hey. What the hell took you so long? No longer, and I would drop a, <laughs> and a drop of piss could have powered the world for a thousand fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a statement. So you're alive. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? Thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if you died. Stupid. As if I'd die so easy. Incredible. <laughs> Simply incredible. He survived. I knew it. It's the resilience of murderous monsters that make them so alluring. Oh, what an exemplary and perfect specimen you are, Zack. To tell the truth, I'd hope to witness the very moment that life leaves your body. Seeing her work so hard has convinced me to be nice this time. You may pass through. Besides, punishment for one's sins is not a one-time thing. One must be punished for as many sins committed. Isn't that lovely? Thank you, Mataton, you little shit. You sadistic bitch. That stupid ass chuckle of yours pisses me off. If you weren't hiding safely behind that monitor, I'd have sliced you up for good. Hey, give me that back. Okay. What the? What the fuck is this? There's some kind of junk all over it. Uh, oh, um, yeah. I used it to cut the he the heads off the dolls. What are you? Some sort of doll killing psychopath? What the hell were you doing? Seems the mechanism had to do uh, with the doll's gaze, so I made them face away from you. You use my scythe for some weird shit, and I turn into an electric eel. It's just one damn thing after another. It's half your own fault. Shut up! It's you who needs to be more careful! Let's get going! Whew. Yeah, well, I'm gonna save. Dear God. <laughs> I had a feeling that's how this door is gonna open. Because there was a... Like, look! 
If I walked up here, you could see the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone was bound to sit in that chair. Rather me or Zach. Mm. Don't know how I would have taken all those volts, though. Dear God. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode off here, and I'm gonna read, I'm gonna, like, pause and read, like, all the stuff I skipped through with these dolls and these descriptions, because I wasn't paying attention. I was just flicking randomly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll leave, leave a like, enjoy, subscribe, come for Alpha Say, and I'll see you in whatever I do next. Farewell, everyone.